What's up guys, Sal here. So Samsung and Huawei are the two biggest smartphone players in the game, with Samsung sitting firmly at the top followed by Huawei at second. But despite their rivalry, Huawei represents a huge chunk of Samsung's revenue. Huawei is the second biggest smartphone maker in the world. In 2019 alone, they are expected to sell over 260 million smartphones in the world. And Huawei is reliant on Samsung for certain smartphone components such as the display and memory semiconductor chips such as RAM and storage. In fact, according to Business Korea, Huawei is one of the top 5 clients of Samsung in the world. So they represent a huge hunk of Samsung's revenue, but now it looks like Samsung could lose one of their biggest clients, Huawei. You see, the Chinese industry is changing. The Chinese government has come up with an initiative called China Manufacturing 2025, where China has decided to strengthen its local domestic industries and wants to lessen its reliance on non-Chinese companies by the next five years. So this will help Huawei in lessening its reliance on Samsung, and in return, Samsung is expected to suffer big losses in the wake of this market shift. As we know, semiconductor business is Samsung's biggest business. Huawei accounts for almost 50% of smartphone market share in China. And one of the reasons why Samsung was having record revenues in recent quarters was because of Huawei. So Huawei turning to a domestic Chinese maker for the memory semiconductor chips would surely put a huge dent in Samsung's business. We know this already that the Galaxy S11 will have a 108 megapixel camera and 5x optical periscope zoom camera lens. We've also talked about the Galaxy Fold 2, which is going to be a clamshell like device, just like the new Moto Razr. And a few days ago, we also talked about its price. South Korean media is reporting that it will be priced at $850, which is significantly less compared to the Galaxy Fold's $2,000 price tag. Anyway, we have some camera specifications of the Fold 2. And according to Bloomberg, Samsung's clamshell device will also have the 108 megapixel camera alongside the 5x optical zoom lens. Samsung wants to sell at least 6 million of these phones next year. And judging from its price and now the camera specs, I don't think it would be hard for them to actually do that. Samsung is dominating the Korean smartphone market, making the competition look bad. In the third quarter of 2019, Samsung got a market share of 71% in its own home turf. That's a 4% increase year over year. And the interesting thing is, 7 out of 10 best-selling smartphones in South Korea are Samsung's. The rest two were from Apple's, and only one was from LG. Here's the market share of the other two companies in South Korea. One of the biggest reasons Samsung dominates South Korea is because they are a domestic company and also because the Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus, which were released in Q3 of this year, were really well-made devices which contributed in a big way for this 71% market share that Samsung was able to achieve. Of course, with that being said, do let me know what do you think about this down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.